Hi, in the previous lecture, we've just added our reservation app and we added the models of this app, the name, the email, the phone, and so on. And we also added our views and we connected it with our new URL to reservation. Now it's the time that we create a new form and we enable the users to reserve a table. So in our app, right click, new file, and type forms to be one. Okay. This form is I'll say from Django board forms. Okay. Then from the models board reservation. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Now let's create a class. With the name of reserve, reserve, sorry, reserve table form. This form inherits from forms dot model form. Okay. Then this class we will create a meta class, and in this meta we will say model equal to reservation and fields equal to underscore single code I'm sorry underscore underscore all underscore underscore now we just created a form for our reservation model we need to import this form in our views so I'll say from that forms board let's take the name copy reserve table form and let's save this here let's implement our view but first let's open the URL after the localhost we will type reserve table reserve should work Yeah, it's working, but now our view did not return an HTTP response. Okay, it's working fine. First of all, let's remove this and let's type return render and our front end. First of all, the request, then our front end and the reservation slash reservation to the schema dot html okay and here we will retrieve the context okay and here is our context and it's empty let's refresh our page it's working okay but this is happening there is no html or there is no css or javascript because we need to inherit from the base okay so we will remove this and we will remove the rest of the page okay and here we will extend the base.html then sorry We will say plug body and let's grab our content with this block and let's save let's refresh our page and here we are we have our reservation table but there is no image here so we will open meals list let's remove this one I was just testing something on it okay and here let's remove this style and let's add it to our reservation just like this let's refresh our page we 
forgot the load static load static yeah let's refresh our page and here we are this is our image reservation and here is our form okay we need to learn how could we handle this form using our view first of all let's see on our view the first let's see reserve form equal to reservation table for okay and we will say if request that method equal to post if we hit submit to this form we first need to check if the form is valid so we will say if sorry we'll see form equal to reservation table form request dot method okay then we will see if this form is valid if reserve form dot is valid We will save this form so we will type reserve form dot save okay and in this context we will retrieve our form just like this okay let's, let's refresh our page there is nothing name form is not defined yeah i'm sorry this is a reservation form or reserve form yeah, let's refresh our page. Now we need to add our form in the templates. So let's open reservation. Where's our form? This is our form. Okay, so here I'm gonna comment this for a while. And here I'm gonna create a new form. Method local post. And here we will type CSRF token. Then we will see form. Okay. Let's refresh our page. And here we are. We should see our form here. This is our form, the name, email, phone, number of persons, date, time. And we need a button for submitting this form. So we will type Now we need to try this form right now to see if there is new reservation will be added to our list or not so I'm gonna say the email address the phone number the number of persons let's say three the date slash like this and the time like this and let's say submit we got an error reservation table form object has no attribute is valid yeah, let's open our view. This is just like this. Let's refresh. Easy. This CR object has no attribute get. This is in here. If our server form is valid. Okay. Sorry, this is post. And this is valid. I think it's working fine right now. Let's refresh our page. There is nothing here, okay. Let's try to add another reservation. The name, let's see, the email address, the phone number, the number of persons, the date, the time. Let's hit submit. Let's refresh this page. 
and we have another reservation this reservation this is awesome now we've just learned how can we handle this form from our view we we'll just set if this request the common request from our view dot method equal to boost we need to give this data which coming from the request to our form then we check if the form is valid we will save this form this is good we need to connect this distribution table with our nav push. this so let's open our base template this is the base template and here and reserve or the navigation yeah reserve a table so we should remove this and we should add URL equal to reservation column then we should add reserve table yeah just like this let's refresh our page and let's go to meals let's open reserve table and here we are our URL is working fine now everything is working fine we just need to add some more stuff to our project to make it more powerful and we will do this in the next section see you in the next section